Hello friends, in the last video we are going to discuss about the one marks important concept. So in this session we are going to discuss about three marks important questions. So let us start the session. The first question that is a 2020, 2020 March question. Okay, the question is f of x is equal to cos x minus sin x 0, sin x cos x 0, 0, 0, 1. Then you have to prove, you have to show that f of x into f of y is equal to f of x plus y. So here, let us take the left hand side. So the left hand side is f of x into f of y. So what is the f of x? f of x that I will be given. The f of x matrix that is cos x minus sin x 0 sin x cos x and 0, 0, 0 and it is 1 and in this case f of x matrix they are given but f of y matrix they are not given. Let us get an uh, example. So let us take a polynomial. The polynomial f of x is equal to x square. Then how do you find f of 2? So f of 2 is nothing but replacing x by 2. So x by 2 is nothing but is a 2 square. The answer is 2. So, just we are replacing x by 2, hence we are getting the answers. Correct. So, in this case, the f of y is nothing but we have to replace x by y. Yes. Then, f of y matrix that is cos y minus sin y and 0. And next, sin y cos y 0, 0, 0, 1. Just we are replacing x by replacing x by what? y. So here, yeah. so let us multiply the two matrix. So I will give us very interesting and very easy method of the multiplication of two matrix. So there is a first row. Actually the method is to do it. There is a first row, we have to multiply to the first column. Again first row, second column, first row, third column, etc. But let us take the second matrix first column. Second matrix first column that is cos y and there is a sin y and there is a sin. Okay? And just multiply the corresponding elements. So we will get easily the answers. And here cos x into cos y, cos x into cos y, next plus into minus, minus, there is a sin x, sin x into sin y and plus 0. Next, the second row, yeah, the second row to the this elements. There is a sin x into cos y and plus into plus, plus and then cos x into sin y and plus into plus, plus 0 into 0, 0. And again, if you are multiplying with any numbers, the answer is always 0, 0 plus, 0 plus, 0. So, the first row, yeah, first column is finished and write on the second column. There is a second column elements is a minus sin y and the cos y and there is a 0. You just write on like this and multiply the corresponding elements. So minus into plus there is a minus there is a cos x into sin y and here in this case there is a minus sin x into sin x into cos y and here it is a plus 0. Next, second row, there is a minus into plus, minus, there is a sin x into sin y, and then plus cos x into cos y, and plus 0, finish. And the last one, if I multiply with 0, the whole element is 0. Okay, and the last one, so you just develop the column here, what you are written? In the row, you just write on the last column. So that is a 0, 0, 1. If you are multiplying with any number, 0. But last element is 1. So here, in this case, 0 plus, 0 plus, 0. 0 plus, 0 plus, 0. But 0 into 0, 0, 0. 1 into 1, the last element should be number 1. So, writing carefully here, the last one is 1. Okay? And uh, we have to prove f of x plus y. f of x plus y, as I told the previous, the f of y is nothing but just we are replacing x by y. Is it correct? 
and then here in this case f of x plus y is nothing but we have to replace x by x plus y that's it very simple but here the x plus y term is not there sir is it possible to apply any formulas yes the which formula they have to apply cos x cos y minus sin x into sin y so we know that so let me write the formula here so we know that there is a cos x plus y formula what is the cos x plus y formula cos x into cos y and if it is plus I write on the minus so the minus sin x into sin y okay and here there is a sin x plus y formula so sin what is the sin x plus y formula there is a sin x into cos y and if it is plus I write on the plus so that is cos x into sin y okay there are two the important formulas we have to know before doing this question okay and as you know there is a cos x into cos y minus sin x into sin y there is a cos x plus y formula so that is equal to there is a cos x plus y okay and here so there is a minus here also minus if you are taking the minus as a common the remaining is cos x into sin y sin x into cos y it's the same formula that is a sin x plus y formula let us take the minus as a common and the remaining is sin x plus y okay and the last element is completely zero and here the second row the first element so we have to prove the sin x plus y because it's a sin x plus y formula it's very simple so there is a sin x plus y finish and here the cos x plus y because it is a cos x plus y formula you just observe here is a plus and the second term is minus must see but in this case there is a plus and there is a minus so cos x into cos y minus sin x into sin y leave the zero and here in this case there is a cos x plus y formula and the last one is zero and here zero zero and the last element should be the what it is a y the finally the final answer is this as I told uh, here the cos x plus y minus sin x plus y it is in the form of f of x plus y here f of x plus y hence this is what uh, this is what the left hand side this is what the right hand side so that's it pause the video and note it down the next question by using the elementary transformation find the inverse of a matrix so using the elementary transformation we have to find the inverse so how do you find the inverse of the given A matrix? This question was asked by so 2016 June 2018 March. So two times they are asking the repeated question and very important question. That's a biological important question. Okay. So let us start before that. Before that, if you are using the row operation, if you are using the row operation, we have to use so that is A is equal to I into A. So that is a row operation. If you are using the column operation. So it is what row operation. If you are using the column operation, we have to use. So that is what the column operation. So a is equal to a into i. So these conditions we have to use. So right on the important point here. If you, uh, if you are interchanging this one, they won't give the marks. So here, yeah, so let us use the row operation. And there is a a matrix. Right on the a matrix, the a matrix is one and three and it is two and it is seven. And identity matrix, as you know. Non diagonal elements are 0, diagonal elements are 1. So, and the order is 2 cross 2. If they are given the A matrix is 2 cross 2, the I should be in the 2 cross 2. If A matrix is 3 cross 3, the identity matrix should be in the 3 cross 3. So, it's a 1, 0, 0, 1. And write on the A as it is because the, we are finding the inverse. So, A is the inverse of I. Hence, in this element, the final answer is that it's an A inverse. But in this case, the elementary operations, we have to make the all elements from the left hand side, all elements should be the identity matrix. We have to make the identity matrix of this left hand elements. So, I'll take this one of the patterns. So, that is an easy pattern. If you are following this pattern, exactly we are getting the uh, easy answers. Okay. First change this number. So, this number, the first number we have to make is a 1. The second number we have to make is a 0. And the third number, Again, the magnet is 1 and the fourth number that to make it is a 0. So, this is what the pattern you have to follow. If you are following the, this pattern, exactly you get the same answers and easy, uh, easily to, to get answers. So, it is a 1, 0, 1, and 0. Next.
So here, yeah, I'll be there during this one. So it's a bit, yeah, first step is finished, and the second step we need to make it a save. So which operation we have to do here? The operation. Uh, the operation actually, I'll tell you some uh, three main conditions of operations. The first condition, the first condition here interchanging the row and columns. We can interchange the row and columns, either R1, R2, R3, R1, whatever it is. And the second condition, the second condition, uh, we can multiply the any non-zero constant. We can multiply the any non-zero constant. So, for example, if you are multiplying the R1, so with non-zero constant, so uh, that is not the second one. And here uh, the third one, we can uh, add the corresponding row or columns with the multiplication of some scalar. So that is R2 implies there is a R1 plus 2 times of R2. So this operation we can also follow. So the main thing, the three properties and three conditions. If you know the three, three conditions, we can easily solve the elementary operations. Yes, let us start. So one, already that there been one. So this elements we need to make it's a zero. So hence we have to apply the R2. R2 implies R2 implies what operation we have to apply? The operation is if you are multiplying with 2 to the R1 and subtract with R2, exactly we take the 0. Yes. So hence R2 minus 2 times of R1. So uh, let me write. So this operation that is a R2 minus 2 times of R1 here. Okay. So, so there is a R2. So let me write the R1 as it is. R1 is 1, 3, and then here uh, that is a 1, 0 as it is, and write on the A as it is. So R2 element we have to operate this, this one. There is a R2. What is a R2 here? R2 is a 2. So that is a 2 minus 2 times of R1 is 1. Here don't get confused. Here the, the all the elements, this one is a R2. This is what the R1. So R1, R1, R2, R2, R1, R1, R2, R2, R2. Okay. So that is a 2 minus 2 into that is an absolute it's a 0. And here in this case R2, R2 is a 7 minus 2 times of 2 times of R1 is 3. So 7 minus 2 into this is a 6, 7 minus 6 is a 1. So it's a 1. Next. Here, yeah, in this case, R2 is a 0, 0 minus 2 times of R1 is 1, okay? And then, so 0 minus 2 times of 1 is, again, is minus 2, and then minus 2, and R2 is a 1, 1 minus 2 times of 0. So, hence, it is 1 minus 2 times of 0, and it is 1. So, see, we got two answers. So, second one is completely finished. And we done the first one, I'll be there given, and we done 0, and also we got the 1. So, final answer we need to make. It's a zero. So how do you make the three as a zero? Yes. So that will be the operation. Which operation we have to do here? So if you are multiplying with three to the R2 and subtract with R1, exactly we take the zero. Yes. Don't worry about the other numbers. You have to consider only the one number. So that is a thing. So we have to make it a zero. The operation is that is R1 implies R1 implies that is R1 minus three times of R2. 3 times of R2. So the sign is doesn't change, this will get a 0. So this is what the operation. So let me write the numbers. The numbers are 0 and 1 as it is, 0, 1, and that is equal to so R2 as it is, that is a minus 2, and it is 1, and write on the A as it is. So we have to change this to this one. So let me write this operation. This is the first one, and the second one is R1 minus 3 times of R2, hence R1 element is 1. 1 minus 3 times of R2, this is a 0 into 3 is a 0, so remaining is 1. 1, and in this case, R1 element is 3, 3 minus 3 times of 1. See, sir, so 3 into 1 is a 3, 3 minus 3 completely, it's a 0. Correct? And here, in this case, there is a R1, R1 element is 1 minus, so 3 times of minus 2. So R1 is 1, and 3 as it is, R2 is minus 2. Minus 2 minus plus, so 3 into 2, 6. So, 1 plus 6, that is a 7. So, write on the 7 as it is. Okay. And the last one, R1 is 0, minus 3 times of 1. The answer is minus 3. So, that is minus 3. So, therefore, therefore, this is what I use. The left hand side, you got the, what the identity matrix is nothing but, that's what the final answer. So, A inverse is, 
a inverse is 7 minus 3 minus 2 and 1. So this is what the answer. We can also verify the answers. So how do you verify the answers? Yes, it's a very easy. See the question. The question is 1 and 7. So we have to interchange these elements. We have to interchange. Interchange these elements. There's 1 and 7. Interchange these elements. The 7 and 1. Yes, we got the answers. And this one, this one, we have to, we have to sign change. The sign, sign change. Only the sign change. Don't interchange the elements. Sign change. There's a plus 3. We'll get minus 3. There's a plus 2. We'll get minus 2. So that is what the verification of the final answers. If you are the same answers, that is a verification is correct. The final answer is correct. Definitely we'll get a 3 marks. We'll move on to the next question and pause the video and note it down.